What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of Crystoria video. So, uh, among all the Tales of Arise goodness today, we do still have uh, some stuff to talk about here. Um, obviously they did a tease last night for the next two units I posted in the community tab. It was very obvious who the two characters were this time. It is Mal and Alvin. Um, very surprising to me, we're finally getting another Rebirth character. You know, obviously Vague got an SSR pretty early on in the game and we haven't seen another Rebirth character since. Legendia, as well as a couple other titles, are still kind of in the mud when it comes to getting an SSR, so hopefully this is a sign that we'll see that soon. Would love to see Senel or Shirley uh, get an SSR, or even Chloe get an SSR relatively soon, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. Uh, I really love Mal, probably one of my favorite Tales of Rebirth characters. Um, I'd say between Mao and T-Tray uh, are probably my two favorites. Uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to summon for Mal because we are literally a month away from the anniversary. As you can see, I've been stockpiling uh, Gleamstones. I only need another like 8,200 in order to guarantee myself the pity for the anniversary, which... Uh, we all pretty much understand that the uh, unlocked Blood Sin versions of Kanata, Vicious, and Mizella will be the anniversary units, and Kanata will definitely be uh, the character on my radar the most. You know, if I pull all three of them within like, you know, half of what I need to use, then great, you know, I pulled them. But uh, it's better to be prepared just in case things don't go the way I want. So uh, I haven't summoned it all for Alicia. Um,. You can pretty much, say, I'll just show you real quick that I have no coins. I guess you could say I could have used some of the coins that I've summoned with, but uh, I have not uh, I have not summoned. As you can see here, nothing to talk about. Oh, well, I guess if I open it, for one. Yep, I haven't done anything. I don't have any Turtles medals either. Uh, as you can see, if I scroll down here, no Turtles medals either. No summons have been done here. So, uh, I, I love how Bride Leash looks, and she's definitely a very good unit. I would say definitely an... I don't want to say definitely an upgrade for Sharia, because I think they serve two different purposes, because Sharia is more on the defensive side, I would say. Uh, you know, having that buff is definitely very, very nice. Um, but I'll get Alicia down the road somewhere, I'm sure. You know, she'll be in the general pool, so I'm sure I'll pull her unfeatured someday. Um, and then, of course, Mint is a good replacement for uh, Estelle. I actually haven't really seen too many people talk about using her, and I haven't run into her too much in the arena, so I don't know how good she actually is. Uh, maybe if someone's pulled mint down below, let me know if you think she's a good replacement for Estelle. But uh, enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's hop into all the news we have here. Um, okay, interesting. This is happening kind of late. Bridal time attachments. Um, so it looks like we're going to get these uh, to kind of farm up kind of nice you can put them on whatever characters you want to put them on uh very very cool uh limited raid will be changing uh looks like we'll be getting the wind one next uh so that's pretty good um yeah we'll go over the limited quest after as well all right ssr alvin always on target and ssr mal child of wavering flame uh they are gonna have the free june uh, pre I, I love how it's like free because it's not actually free, but uh, premium summon medals number two. So to quickly explain, uh, the medals are per banner. So if you summoned on Alicia's banner, you can't save those coins for this banner. It's a different medal. As you can see, it's got the number two on them. Um, the banner will be dropping Tuesday morning. Now this feels a little early, but they don't post stuff on weekends usually. So that's why they're posting it now. So they post it right now because then the only other day they would be able to post it would be Monday. But that's literally right before uh, the things would start. So uh, it makes sense that they post it now. So usually I like to guess what they're going to be. But I already kind of got spoiled on what they'll be based on uh, the event stuff. So Alvin is going to be... Uh, it looks like he's an attack heavy. Uh, not like super heavy because he's still only 4,400 attack. But he's on the offensive side. For uh, Earth, still got pretty good defense as well. And then Mal, what are you? Also an offensive uh, fire unit, fire arts unit, which makes sense. Uh, very, very cool there. So they did go with Inferno Drive, uh, as some people expected that they would. Uh, so let's go over what they do. Let's talk about them. So Alvin, 
Uh, his Memoria is obviously a gun Memoria. Uh, 15,000 HP, 1,700 attack, 600 defense, 27% attack to Earth allies. Uh, pretty good there. Offense heavy Memoria right there. Uh, 33,600 HP for the actual unit. Um, 4440 attack, 3960 defense. So he's actually pretty balanced. He's not like super heavy on the offensive side. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, he's got some decent attack to kind of work with. While also kind of having some defense to him. Uh, his skill is sound advice. <laughs> Funny. 10% uh, attack to Earth Allies, and then 13% attack to Earth Allies at 20 hits, so you want to build that combo up with him. Let's see what his art... Oh, I like... Okay, so they're finally doing this. So for the longest time, we've always kind of had to guess, like, okay, what's the overlimit gauge for a character going to be to fill it up? And it looks like they're finally uh, giving it to us. You can see overlimit is 200, so it's not too high. Um... It would be nice if right here, if it told us how much each attack gives, though. Like, for Punishing Shot and for Dragon Swarm, uh, it'd be nice if it says how... It, nice that it says the cooldowns, though. So, uh, 340%. Eight, very interesting that it's red. Like, the uh, arts icon is red. I don't know if that's intentional. or I guess it's supposed to be because it's, like, attack. Um, I'm just, like, I'm looking at the fire and I'm thinking red. Anyways, 340% attack, 8 hits, 1 enemy, over limit gauge, 200%. Uh, uh, Terminus Pride. Additional effect, 100% chance to cast Burn on one enemy for three turns. I love it. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And 200 over limits, not, like, horrible. So, um, you know, getting that Burn up is definitely going to be nice. Especially, he's an Earth unit, so that's actually going to be really useful. Uh, his first start is Punishing Shot, 150% damage. Three hits, one enemy. Cooldown, two turns. Uh, it has an additional... Um, Additional effect, 100% chance to decrease defense of one enemy by 50% for two turns. So good for raids or just single boss uh, things. And then his second art is Dragon Swarm. 200% five hits, one enemy. Cooldown four turns. Additional effect, 100% chance to cast D spell on one enemy for three turns. So that's actually really useful as well. Uh, you know, get rid of some of them uh, buffs. Oh, wait, no. Cast a spell. You're uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting rid of one of those buffs. Um, all right, let's look at Mal. Uh, I'm, de I'm just so excited to see Mal getting a unit, uh, before the one-year anniversary. Um, very, very cool. Uh, obviously not a lot of Western fans know Mal because his game hasn't been localized, but, uh, he's still a pretty big favorite in just terms of Tales. Uh, so his Memoria Stone, 5,000 HP, 2,900 attack, 1,100 defense. That's a very strong Memoria. Holy crap. Uh, not much on, on defense, but that attack is going to be very, very nice. Uh, Memoria skill is pretty simple. 100% chance weak resist, so that's fine. Um, HP 38,400, attack 4680, and defense 3120. So he's kind of weak on the defensive side, but his HP and attack are great. Uh, the fire within is his skill. 60% attack to fire allies, and then plus 10 to the over limit gauge of fire allies when arts are used. Uh, his Mystic Art is Inferno Drive, 420% damage, 6 hits, 1 enemy, over limit gauge, 230. So, uh, it'll take a little bit longer to fill that up than Alvin's. Heat Wave, 120%, 4 hits, 1 enemy, cooldown 2. 100% chance to increase attack of self by 30% for 2 turns, so he gives himself a nice little buff. Uh, and raise that attack even more. And then Blazing Hearts. 200% 2 hits all enemies cooldown 5 so he does hit everybody with 200% is actually pretty good um, so Mao is definitely a, a good unit to kind of have for fire and then here you can look at their uh, tickets if you have to go to the pity to try and get them so very very cool uh, now let's go over to the limited quest real quick uh, we'll be getting a Philia SSR Memoria and a Lila SR Memoria so pretty cool there uh, let's see what kind of event this is going to be. So Alvin's the main unit for this event. Um, you know, Earth it gets the SSR, so that means Earth team is what you're going to want to be using, which is unfortunate because I still am lacking a heavy-hitting Earth unit. So hopefully the anniversary can change that for me because with all these Earth units, a lot of the Earth units that have been coming out lately, if you really look at most of them, uh, 
Aizen, Orwin, Shigure, and now Alvin. They're all pretty attack heavy, so they're actually uh, quite a number of Earth units I could definitely use if I pulled them unfeatured. Uh, so Philia's Memoria is a Sword Memoria. Uh, 22,000 HP, 500 attack, 600 defense, so pretty much just an HP Memoria. Uh, and it HP... Uh, 8% percent HP of Earth Allies restored every turn, so that's going to be good for uh, maybe a unit that takes more damage than usual and you don't really need the uh, attack on or defense on that. Um, you could really kind of double up with that because you could have that Memorial on somebody, and if you make that food that restores 10% HP every turn, uh, that'll be a good heal every single turn uh, without you actually having to heal. And then the Lila SR Memoria, 5,500 HP, 1,100 attacks, uh, 900 defense. Overlimit Gauge of Fire Allies increases by 18 each turn. So I guess if you have a healer, you want their uh, gauge to fill up faster. Uh, this would probably be an, a Memoria I'd throw on like my Sharia, for example, or you would want to throw on... I mean, you can throw it on non-healers, but I feel like healers benefit the most because then you can heal more often. Um, so, or if you pulled the new... Uh, Alicia last banner. You could definitely use it on her as well. Uh, collect Shepherd. Oh, yeah. The, the story behind this is apparently Lila's looking for the Shepherd. And she thinks that uh, Philly is a candidate. But obviously, we know Lila is looking for Sarag. Uh, okay. So, we get... Uh, okay. So, we're back to the event summon stuff, which I'm not a fan of. Hopefully, they learned their lesson from a couple events ago. Where, you know, it took people forever to kind of do this. So, uh, but it doesn't look like it's raids this time. It looks like it's just going to be quests. Yeah, just clear event missions. So, uh, it'll be a little bit easier to kind of farm it up. Uh, and the other bonus characters down... Okay, so this is nice. They're finally... Uh, so the two bonus characters aren't even characters who are going to be on a banner. They're actually learning. You know, if this is an Earth event, then put Earth characters as, like, the... Obviously, Mao as well. But uh, if you have uh, Aizen or Edna, they also get an event item drop and a 30% attack buff. So I'll definitely throw Edna on my team for this event. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So got a new banner, uh, Alvin and Mao. Uh, both characters. I feel like Alvin's pretty popular. I don't really... And I've been told Mao is really popular. I just don't... I mean, obviously in the West, you don't really see people talk about Mao too much because his game never got localized. But uh, this is a really cool banner. I would really be happy to pull either one of these, you know, later down the line uh, if I ever get them. I would love to run Mao uh, on a team. Plus, I would just love to have Mao and uh, Summer Vague on the same team to see what kind of dialogue they might have with each other. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're going to be summoning for Alvin and Mao. I assume most people, if you're free to play, are just going to be waiting for the anniversary because after this banner... We have one more EX banner probably towards the end of the month, you know, maybe around like the 25th. And then we'll have one more regular banner starting at the end of the month, you know, around the 30th. And then the banner after that should be the anniversary banner starting, you know, around like the 15th of next month or whenever it actually decides to start. So uh, do be wary of that. I recommend saving till the anniversary if you're free to play. And uh, that's definitely what I'll be doing. I'm not free to play, but uh, not completely. But uh, I'll definitely be saving for the anniversary. So hopefully I can get the Kanata, Mizella, and Vicious all during the anniversary. That would make me pretty happy. Since uh, during the sixth month, I only walked away with Acid and uh, Machina. And Machina I had to go to the pity for. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.